back to yet another amazing class. I hope you're enjoying your day because I am. Today our learning targets are I can read and write different types of syllable words. I can read phrases with different spellings. I can reread the story Be Cut to build my reading fluency. Remember we've been talking about two syllable words. What do you call two syllable words that are made up of two separate words? This type of words are called compound words. We've talked about compound words where two syllable words come in two separate words. They come in two separate words. Now I'm looking for three different examples of compound words. We will clap these examples to count the syllables. I will write these examples on the next slide. Now what you're going to do right now is that you're going to write examples of compound words we've treated in the past. We have also learned about another type of two syllable words that contain a root word and an ending. A root word and an ending. I'm looking for three different examples of this word. We will clap these examples to count the syllables. I will write this on the next slide. Other two syllable words have two syllables because they have two vowel sounds. Clap the following words. We have dentist. Dentist. You will now read more two syllable words. Remember, the dots in the word shows us where the syllables are divided. Remember I told you that the dots at the middle shows us where the syllables are divided but you will not be using the dots when you're writing your own we have marching marching we have sharper sharper you can see in marching we have match and aim we have the root word and we have the ending so the root there is match the ending is in you can see it's a two syllable word that has two vowels it has two vowels. It has two vowels because it has two vowels because it's a two-syllable word. It has two vowels because it is a two-syllable word. We have banyard. We have shutter. Banyard and shutter. We have swimming. We have magnet. Swimming and magnet. We have notepad. We have upset. Notepad and offset. Take note of the vowels. Take note of the vowels. They are just two. We have rabbit and plastic. Rabbit and plastic. Rab is the root word. Why the ending is it. Plast is the root word. Why tick is the ending. Open your worksheet 14.1 and 14.2. I want you to complete the assessment there. Wiggle cards, wiggle cards. The most interesting part of this wiggle card is that we tend to act, we tend to perform what the wiggle card says. Number one, we have bite a hot pepper. But I told you in our last class that we're not going to bite hot pepper because it's very hot. It's too spicy. We can't bite hot pepper. The next one is zip up a zipper. Zip up a zipper. The next one is smell perfume. Smell perfume. The next one is stand tall and match. Stand tall and match. The next one is pound with a hammer. Pound with a hammer. The next one is stretch your arms. Stretch your arms. The next one is yawn like you do in the morning. Yawn like you do in the morning. Next one is sit on the carpet. Sit on the carpet. We're going to be reading big cuts again. It's going to help us improve our reading fluency. Big cuts I read. Do you like cuts? If you do, look there in the grass. Do you see that cat? That cat is not the sort of cat we keep in our homes and feed cats food. Like I said before, cats we keep in our homes, they can eat milk, they can drink milk and eat biscuits. 
but this cat hunts by itself it's 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 a wild animal we don't keep them in our homes it some it looks like a normal cat we keep in our house facially but if you look at the body properly you know that it's not the kind of cat we keep in our house and the book tells us that that is a bob cat it's a bob cat bob cats are good hunters they hunt rabbits rats and sometimes deers and sheep that bob cat's name is robert or bob for short get it if you look up on that rock you would see a cat that's bigger than a bob cat it's a panther panthers can have spots they can be tan too here at here at green ferns too we have two black panthers the name of this one is jet that's jet sister flash up on the tree branch flash has strong legs that helps her run fast she has sharp teeth and sharp claw claws that helps her hunt rabbits and there's she can use her claws to scamper up a tree if she needs to you can see that she is not all like she's not all black like jet she has some spots now you're going to open your worksheet 14.1 you're going to be read big cards and answer the question on your worksheet 14 point one i hope you enjoyed my class i'm still your teacher miss sharon have a wonderful day bye